Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be talking about AWS Lambda synchronous versus asynchronous. So guys, let's try to compare between synchronous and asynchronous. As an invocation model, synchronous model does not have any error behavior, while asynchronous models have a built-in two times retry in case of errors. The poll-based invocation model has a retry based on data expiration. So when the data expires, the poll-based will do a retry. But when an asynchronous invocation model occurs, a built-in two times retry is going to occur whenever an error happens. As for synchronous behavior, there will not be any error handling. Now, upon executing code within Lambda, you may invoke your function synchronously or asynchronously. They are both useful and required for various situations, but are accompanied with interesting side effects as well in your serverless space. For synchronous functions, they are utilized for discovering what the result of an operation is, even prior to carrying on along to your next one. Simple. Just like invoking one function, which performs a calculation and later on utilizes its result in the other function. It's easier and simpler for handling and keeping track of, since they mainly get invoked each one on its own after the other. They provide you with the result of a function right before heading on to the following other one, in order for you not to worry about getting any data missing. All, uh, at other times, it wouldn't even matter what response you would get. It's simply satisfactory to discover your function has gotten fired and is now running perfectly well. In this case, you should rely on asynchronous functions for your invocations. An example of when it's good for you to be choosing to run an asynchronous function is when you'd like to start a video encoding process. In this case, Lambda will send a response stating that your video encoding function was invoked and has begun successfully. Now, since the function is asynchronous, you will receive this response right after the process starts, rather than needing to keep waiting up till the process finishes. Functions that get invoked synchronously or asynchronously within the Lambda get handled in various ways in case of failure, and this may inflict a couple of unexpected side effects in the logic of your program. In the case of synchronously invoking your functions directly, then the invoking application used will be held responsible for every single one of those retries. While relying on integrations, you will find that they might include extra retries that come built in. Functions which get invoked asynchronously will not be relying on any invoking application for their retries, because the retries here will be built in and running automatically. The invocation shall get retried two times while having delays in between. In case both retries end up in failure, the event will get disregarded. Asynchronous invocations allow you to create a dead letter queue that may actually be utilized for keeping the failing event from getting discarded. What is a dead letter queue? It provides you with the opportunity to send unprocessed events to an Amazon SQS or SNS queue so that you get to build some some logic to start dealing with. So guys, that's all for your synchronous versus asynchronous invocations. So as you can see, asynchronous invocations are better for you if you are aiming to get error handling and retries whenever a failure occurs. When uh, when that is not actually necessary, you go for synchronous invocation.